Hey guys, I am Sled67 here for another Destiny 2 video. We're going to be talking about kind of the state of the game going into the next season. Um, the, that hasn't really been announced yet as far as what the season is. The TWAB came out this week, had some interesting things in it. Uh, they also re, you know, released the uh, you know the the hawk moon catalyst and the and the uh, ability to actually farm for hawk moon again, which we've done several times and had a great time with. It's been a blast. Um, but we're ta they're talking about in the twelve. They're talking about what's sticking around for the rest of the season. What we're you know not going to be missing out on. And so I'm going to read from this a little bit so you can get an idea. So story missions uh, uh, will be able to be launched from the node and the director in the future. There's a, The Wraithborn hunts are going to stick around. The adored quest will continue to be available. Crow's vendor screen is going to stay on this tangled shore for right now, which is, I, I guess that's to accommodate some of the, new, some of the uh, uh, newer players uh, that are coming into the game. Uh, Hawk Moon Quest is going to stay active as well as the Master Activity. That's great. Uh, the Seasonal Seal and Warden title will be up still. Now they're saying the Seasonal Seal uh, still must be earned by the deadline on and on the Bungie's reward page, but due to the, an issue blocking the Triumph, they'll be adjusting the deadlines. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they mean by that, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, a few things are no longer going to be available at the end of Season 12. Going into Season 13, Crow's Bounties will not be here. Uh, messages from the field. S the seasonal artifact will be changing. And, of course, the uh, uh, Season Pass will also be changing. So all that stuff will reset for Season 13, and we'll get to do it all over again, of course, just like always. It seems like we get to get in this this little, you know, grind uh, pattern where we go out. I think that the, I believe the power level is going up to 1310 on this next release. I believe that's what it is. It goes up 50. Uh, it's going to be the limit. Thir uh, 1300 will be the soft cap, and I think uh, 1310 being the uh, new, you know, pinnacle cap. But we'll see. That's I'm just guessing by what we have right now uh, from, you know, what's available to look at in the field. They're going to be shifting uh, some more content around, so they said to be ready for some weirdness in season <laughs> one. Now I, I don't know what Bungie means about weirdness. We already have a lot of weirdness in the game, at least you know from when I play every day and I see weirdness every day. So uh, I'm certain we're going to see some interesting abnormal uh, abnormal abnormal normalities. I got to well, I can't talk today. It's Sunday. It's a weekend. Um, and a lot, especially involving Crow around Season 13, as he's going to be moving to a new destination on the Tangled Shore, but that he's still going to be available to be reached in the same place he is now. So apparently he's going to be in two... I don't know if that means he's going to be in two places at once, but we'll, we'll find out. That ought to be interesting. Um, they're saying that these kind of rough edges are going to be around uh, until uh, throughout year four. So I guess until we get into the next chapter of the trilogy, we're going to have some weird shit going on. Welcome to Destiny. Uh, Umbral Ingrams are back, and that's awesome. Um, I don't know about how many of you actually use the uh, the you know the 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 Umbral Ingrams and focus them in the in the over by the Drifter. I did that to get some phenomenal builds on armor. So um, you can actually pick how you want to um, develop armor. You can pick how you want to, you know, whether you want to build around discipline or strength or whatever, intellect, and you can custom build your pieces, which is kind of nice. And so you might get 10 Ingrams and then uh, focus five of them on armor. And when you focus them, it also brings them up as powerfuls. So they become like uh, when we were doing them, they were bringing them up quite a few light levels into our powerful. So if you're already pinnacle, like at 1260 level, and those Ingrams are dropping at 1250s, you could focus them and they would become 1260s when they were focused. So that was really awesome because it was a kind of way to get unlimited. It was a neat way to get unlimited amounts of powerfuls 
to do your build. And I think that's one of the reasons why in that season I got up over 500 for the first time ever. Um, I mean, normally I'm between, I'm in the low to high, low to high threes in my season, and I'm not, you know, I really don't pay much attention to that. I'm not trying to, you know, get see how high I can get or how fast I can get. It's about just playing and having fun, and normally I end up in that place. But in this particular one, I ended up uh, that season. I know the season was a little longer because they delayed the game out as well. But maybe I would have normally ended up in the fours, but I ended up in the high fives. I think five seventy two or something like that. And almost six hundred. I was. It was really amazed how high I went that season. But these are great. So we're gonna have. You're apparently gonna earn Ingram, Umbral Ingrams from patrols, strikes, Crucible, Gambit, the Nightfall ordeal, public events, Blind Well. Uh, Nightmare Hunts, Exo Challenge, Empire Hunts, and any new seasonal activities. So that's awesome. We're Basically, everything I do is going to earn in umbrals. So that is exciting. Uh, that was, like I said, an unlimited source of powerfuls for me. Um, you may notice fewer umbral ingrams in your inventory than before. So apparently they're fixing the drop rates to be a little less frequent than they were before. I know that I had a slew of these things. I would, I literally would fill my my allotment up every single day, and uh, my shards because of this, my shards were you know five, six, seven thousand. Now they're back down to you know fourteen, fifteen hundred because there's no way to really replenish them as fast as that season was. Uh, but that was not. An issue. In fact, going into the new season, from that season, I was at I think 7,500, 8,000 shards. So the prismatic recaster is going to look different, though. What we use to focus, it will be here, and there are going to be rank levels, but it is going to look and function differently. So be aware of that. There's going to be a new way to unlock different focusing options. So look forward to seeing. They're not really giving us a lot of details about how we're going to do this. They want to leave that some things to be a surprise. Uh, titles are we're now going to have gilded titles, which will allow us to expand. Like for instance, if you have a dredgen title, you could actually gild that title into a specific area by performing some over-the-top things for that title to become gilded. It will have a different look and feel to it, and uh, that will reset with the season as well. So really interesting stuff. Um, I'm not a big person on titles. Uh, titles are fine. I, you know, I have a couple, but I don't really worry about that too much. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with that. Now, some of the stuff they're talking about, uh, there was a thing called No One Is Half the Battle in here, and they're talking about uh, leaving soon. There, some, something They're investigating issues surrounding the completion of certain triumphs related to the Warden title. Uh, they said they'll adjust the code claim and seal pins, uh, purchase deadlines accordingly. They said also that uh, they're currently investigating issues surrounding completion of certain trials related to the uh, this is to another one to the warden title so apparently they're going to fix that as well um Really interesting. I wasn't sure where this was going, but I'm going to read this because I think it's interesting. A lot of people don't realize that that Bungie was the group that created uh, Halo. Uh, if they're new to the game, uh, almost nine years ago, stats and files from our previous franchise, Halo, stopped getting updated on Bungie.net. Since then, all stats, files, and other data from Halo 2, 3, and Halo 3 ODST, and Halo Reach have lived in remembrance at halo.bungie.net. On February 9th, the halo.bungie.net website will be taken offline permanently. Wow. Okay. So everyone is welcome to save their stats and files. However, they can if they want to save anything at all. Please keep in mind that our news articles and forums groups were imported into the current version of bungie.net back in 2013 personal halo avatars that are currently being used will be removed so it looks like all the stuff relating to the support of the halo franchise from bungie is going away wow uh, I want to talk about known issues a little bit they're investigating known issues uh, about PlayStation users can't send invites that is still an ongoing issue they're working on the light seeker triumph is an unlocking uh, and after claiming all five feathers from the Harbinger mission, which I've done and haven't gotten, uh, Birds of a Feather Triumph, unlocking all players complete Harbinger activity when all players have Hawkmoon equipped. We've done that one and not gotten it as well. Uh, 
VO lines are not playing during the Harbinger activity. Uh, don't. I, I really haven't had that happen. Uh, at least I, I haven't experienced that. The Black Blight orbs left behind are the High Celebrant won't open portals if shot by sidearms. Okay. Uh, I don't haven't used a sidearm in that, so I guess I haven't encountered that. High Celebrant will also show immune damage even with the Wrathborn buff active. Now that I have seen. It's available will take the proper damage if the buff is active. It's probably resolved in a future update. Now I have seen this and I've commented on it because it seemed like you couldn't do any damage to it when in fact you were doing damage. And I, it was actually in some of my feeds uh, for YouTube and my live feeds for YouTube and Twitch this week. So uh, yeah, we actually saw that happen over and over again. Um, the augment logout timer occasionally resets the final encounter against tank no Titanix. Okay, don't remember that. Sometimes the wrong tether box gets tethered in the final encounter of Garden Salvation. Um, I haven't ran Salvation lately, so I haven't seen that one either. The plates in the puzzle during uh, Shiro Tree encounter in the Last Wish Raid sometimes won't work if a Titan Ward or of Dawn or Warlock Will of Radiance touch them. Oh, interesting. Uh, I would say those two are probably used a lot in this. Uh, in that, so I'm, that would be an interesting glitch. They've actually uh, released a couple of new videos that are kind of fun to watch. The uh, they do have this movie of the week thing, and they also have an, an artist of the week. If you've never looked at this, this stuff is av available under the news portion. portion of the community on bungie.net and they're a lot of fun to look at but it's also there's a lot of good information about what's going on in the game um more interesting though is um you know there's there's a couple of big names that affect the game and one of the long time guys that's been in this is joe blackburn he says last year I'd, I'd said destiny's best days are ahead seeing what's coming i believe this more than ever but we have work to do to get there 2021 is going to be a little different for destiny taking some time to validate our plans but expect the state of destiny 2021 next season so it'd be interesting to see what they have to say it sounds like that things are not kind of worse some things are working out some things aren't sounds like it's a mixed bag right now and i can tell you that the general attitude in the game right now at least for people like myself who do a lot of live play we do um we do some content there's not a lot going on uh, the amount of stuff dropping from the game is just n not too much right now. Um, you know, you see, uh, it's been l some of lucky stuff has been uh, focused around uh, a big problem in the game right now on PC, and that is cheating, and how cheaters are basically just literally mocking uh, the Bungie team on how and uh, like challenging them how quick they can get banned and then come right back in and cheat again, uh, showing that they're using cheats. Uh, there was a video he shared the other day, and I'm not going to share any details about it, other than the fact that they sh they blatantly were using cheats to give um, Xenophage unlimited ammo, hundred the mag, and make it full full auto, and basically unlimited auto, un unlimited auto, unlimited ammo. Period. And we're running around with these things like they were SMGs and two manning Garden of Salvation, and we're just bragging about the fact they could they were using these cheats to do it. Uh, I don't approve of that. Don't want to. I'm glad Lucky didn't share anything other than that. But it goes to show you that the cheaters are kind of taunting Bungie on how easy it is to cheat on the game. And, uh, you know, I, I think they do need to do more about that. It do, Cheaters make the game no fun for anybody. And I don't like to see people earn titles that don't deserve them. You know, if you can't, if you're not man enough to play the game the way it is and you got to cheat to play it, then, you know, go go find another game. We don't want you in this one. As simple as it is, just I want to play with players who want to play the game, want to have fun in the game, and they're here to actually enjoy the content of the game, not find a way to break it. Um, that's just not my style and not the style of the people we hang with. Uh, one thing of news, we are talking about starting a clan for the I Am Sledge 67 channel, and we're not sure what we're going to do right now. The name we're settling on is, we're not we're, we're not sure one of the names we're tossing around is Huskies and Hand Grenades, because we have a couple of people in our, in our uh, group that are Husky fans, and we thought that was kind of fun. But we're trying to find something fun. We're trying to find something challenging. It won't necessarily be as much about the name, may not be as 
as much about the channel. I'll let you guys know that as we get there, but we're not going to do that until the uh, new season drops because obviously we don't want to lose any of the content uh, that's actually in you know being able to get the rewards from being having our our clan uh, banner already finished for the year but there's just too many goodies we get and we don't want to see that go away um, so we're gonna wait till the se season 13 and we may start that we're still debating whether we're gonna do that or not we, we're in a we, so, you know, do we have people that play? We we play with regularly. You'll see their names in the in the banner. We put special thanks out to the guys we play with regularly, and it's not always about um, you know playing with the people inside our clan. It's just it would be nice to have a group of people that play while we're in at the same time. Uh, there'll be some responsibility in us to keep up with stuff, keep up with announcements and things like that, and probably have to form up a Discord. Which uh, you know, it, it it becomes a time element, and whether we feel we got time, you got to remember, um, I, we're not making any money on this. We're doing this just to have fun as a group, help people. You know, talk to people, find people that want help doing things, and we help them as much as we can. Uh, you know, we we're not we're not the best at it, and we're not the worst at it, but we have fun doing it, and we got a good group, and that's all that matters to us. On a special thanks to you know, Lucky Rabbits, Random. Uh, platypus, um, Master Laser, Lego, a lot of these guys we play with. We just did a, a earlier today on Sunday, we just did a, a, a Master uh, High Priestess. And uh, with the thing, we were at the just, I think we were two rooms out from the boss room and we're running into some fun. And uh, Dead Pirate came and helped us. So, Dead Pirate, thank you. Gonna add your name to the list of people that we run with and, and, and have fun with. And special thanks out to you. Um, if there's something you guys want to do, we want to do more with people that want help getting things. Uh, last week, we took some people through the Shattered Throne. We took some people through Harbinger, through coup, coup, the Coup de Trois, uh, that were having trouble doing it. They were leveling up and want, wanted to get access to those events. Uh, so we do do that quite a bit. If there's something you want, something you want to go after, you know, we, Send us a chat. Send us a send us a message to Xbox. Now, we're mostly on Xbox. I do do some stuff on PC. Like uh, the guy I was helping last week, uh, Shins, he's actually on. Um, he's a teenager and he's on uh, PC platform. So I use GeForce Now to do that through Cross Save, and so I will do that. But I don't have. I've only got a couple of buddies on the PC side that we run with that actually you know do that stuff and will help out. So. And they're not always on. Uh, they've got lives, too. So definitely, if there's something you want help with, mostly look us up on the Xbox platform. Anyway, that was it. I just want to kind of talk about that stuff coming up. We are a couple weeks away from uh, Season 13. Excited to see what comes out. Um, Nick, look forward to getting the ship this week. Uh, I think we'll get in and get the rest of our feathers on reset this week and get our, our ship and check that out but there's just not you know we got some random rolls on you know hawk moon uh, there's not like i said there's not a lot i can a lot to do i've now got two of my characters uh maxed out at pinnacle level at 1260 i've got a my titan is a couple of pieces of armor away from that i'll probably finish that up this next week and i i'm pretty much ready you know i'm at max and i'm ready for the new season i mean i'm ready to go i'm ready to go I'm, oh one other note if you have, and a lot of people miss this, so I'm going to bring it up. If you have any uh, tokens like uh, for Vanguard or Crucible, you better turn them in uh, and get rid of them before the end of before the end of season 12 because they are going to go away and they're going to be worthless. So if you're saving those up, you have a bunch in there, you better get in, get, just eat them up, get rid of them, get some shards out of them. You know, look if you're looking for roles for things, go do that stuff in the next two weeks because after reset, they're worthless. They're not gonna, you're not gonna get anything for them. They're just gonna disappear. So, do yourself a favor and do not, you know, do not hold on to those. Get rid of them and get some materials out of them and possibly some better roles on some things you want before they go away. Uh, there is a whole new system for those vendors that will be up on how to earn materials. I'm not sure. Let's just say that I'm not sure I'm in agreement with it, that it's going to be better. I'm hoping it is. 
And sometimes we don't know about these things until we actually get in and start messing with them. And then maybe, you know, we'll find something we really, you know, find something that we really like or we want to do. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. I am Sledge67, and I will catch you guys on my next Destiny 2 video. Have a great weekend.